Fan Podcast. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to the Big Fan Podcast 2016. 2016. New anniversary. Well, we passed the anniversary, but passed, yeah. I'm using it a different way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new new. It's a new new, you know? Fucking good. It's good. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> People are like, oh, they're off to a good start. <laughs> it's good. It's a bit rusty. <laughs> But it's been, uh, I mean, it's only been a couple weeks, but yeah. we just were celebrating, deliberating, standing with living. family, just uh, living. Boom. Yeah, I went to Utah for a week. The motherland, but not really. <laughs> Dude, this is gorgeous that, thing. Yeah, oh yeah, it's pretty up there. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. And then, um, I think it worked for Christmas. You know, the, the 25th and 24th is what we call it around here. Mm. You know, it's just, you know, a special day. I don't recognize you. Yeah, the 25th, 24th. Oh. What are you talking about? What, 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 it's just day another that? day. Yeah, 24th. Oh, I got you. And then um, New Year's or New Year's Eve. But that was worth it because of the pay. And then... Um, Better been. Yeah. And it's been it's been good. Like, it just... Like, it's the new year where stuff is about to drop A hard. Lot of stuff. And stuff, stuff has already dropped hard. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm the beginning of the stuff. penis has dropped. And it's about to, like, non-flaccid. Well, I mean, so it's going to be erect. It's going to be erect well, pretty soon. You're talking here. about it's erect, and then it goes flaccid, and then drops hard? Ooh, maybe. Yeah. Or, like, it gets so hard it hits the top of the ceiling. Hits and hard. then now we're about to hit, now it's about to drop hard, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mean, but I get you. It's about to get crazy here. Okay. And it's, it's been starting, too. Mm-hmm. And um, my favorite part of it is someone who doesn't, no, like, notify, not notify, but, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do resolutions right so i like to see the resolutions i'm like what do you mean see them just like when people are like oh, starting this year with not having oh, a drink people posting stuff yeah okay it's like not having a drink i'm like oh you're an alcoholic <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just i'm doing something like, for gonna... me i'm gonna lose weight because i'm fat yeah just fat. like hey you're fat own it you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. own it my people team fat but it's just like or like to... <laughs> my favorite one i saw this year was like i'm gonna be a better mom i'm like I was like, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> it was just like some random Probably Twitter one. That. And it was just like, I'm going to be a better mom. I'm like, oh, you're the worst. I'm going to uh, shower. <laughs> right? So uh, that's what, I never, do you ever, did you ever uh, do I a mean, resolution? First of like, all, like any other holiday, we don't really celebrate them. And it's not really a holiday, I get the, the it. First of July? Uh, yeah. January? Yeah, January. <laughs> <laughs> January. He's drunk, everyone. He's drinking. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. So like, I don't know. We just, I've never personally done it. Yeah, like, I mean, you, I've you had don't, like. like you don't like the first doesn't exist. No, it's non-existent. <laughs> no, we the second no, no. It's just, it's just we don't go out of our way to like celebrate kind of thing. We'll just the first is really just only the drink and like yeah. Here it comes. I thought is that a holiday? I mean, we got the day off for it. Yeah, everyone did. So I mean, I guess I guess it's a holiday. Like, the, I don't think it's a holiday, but people consider it a holiday. That's crazy. I never of. considered it a holiday. I always considered like this is the day where we. Ex- <laughs> It's like it's like uh, the purge. Like, uh, all can yeah, happen. Yeah. Like, just this is your day. Like, yeah. that's what I always took it as. I always took it as a holiday. I know it's considered a holiday by companies, but to me, it's just like mm-hmm. this is your day. If to... The bank is closed. It's a holiday. Yeah, that's true. No, that's I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah we. Uh, I mean, me personally, I don't know about Serena, but like, I've never had like, oh, I'm gonna do this, this, this. Check, check, yeah, check. Not like a New Year thing. I've had like, I would like. To be a better person. To be like not a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, yeah. but. No, like like everyone, like you want to lose weight, you know, you want to you want to do Not better, me, you want to get a better career, you, you want to. That's a plural. Right, well, me, yeah. me, cause I'm, I'm just kidding. But uh, just you, you just want to improve generally. Yeah, yeah. So like people like it's a for me it's the same thing. Like oh, I think a lot of people like it. when you are working out to get fit. Yeah. It's like where you take say you the Monday comes Going up for tone, not for bulk. No, Monday comes up right. Yeah. You miss working out Monday. You're like yeah. oh, I'll just wait till next week. Oh yeah. Because it's yeah. like you want to start on a new week yeah. like you want to start fresh so for a lot of people like the first when it's Wednesday you're like fuck it I've already yeah. gone so far you bring on the dubber butter dubber so in the same way that's, that's like a it's like the, ice cream the biggest yeah. version of that is New yeah. Year's you know like I'm yeah. gonna start new because it's new the New Year's you know, whatever because yeah. it's new yeah. It's yeah quote unquote new I'm more excited just for the new shit oh yeah <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Physical stuff. (laughs) And that's it. But just like movies. (laughs) The new shit. But the movies, everything. Like all the new materialistic stuff. Yeah, worldly stuff. That's what I care about. You know, like, I don't care about myself. No, no, I give it up. Self improvement, though. New shows. Are you kidding me? New stuff I can sit in front of the TV. When you get past like 25, own who you are. 
You're never gonna change. I don't know who I am. I'm lost. Just, or even that, just like that's who I am. Right. Fuck it. I'm gonna try to figure myself out. But uh, I mean, I guess if I had a resolution, it'd be yeah. to like, you know, keep growing this. What we got going on here and yeah. spreading the word and uh, and just introducing people to podcasts. Yeah. Um, that's kind of furthering your career, yeah. my career. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just I'm not. I have. I don't have. High, I don't have high expectations. The American dream. But I'm hopeful. Yeah. 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 I'm more realistic. People yeah. say I'm bitter and like, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, like a downer? <laughs> I'm like, no, I just don't. Narcissistic. Know. Yeah, narcissistic. Yeah. But I can't help it. That's who I am. I was brought up that way. Yeah. yeah people wanted me to be. You're not good be. enough. You're not smart enough. Yeah. And uh, you don't have any But you're, you are very important. That's the third one. You won't be able to do it. Mm. Not of experience, but you are important. So I'm like, all right, well, my head's only getting better or bigger, you know? But uh, you brought you, you had a funny story that I wanted to start off with. Oh, okay. You came here and you're like, sometimes when I get off work, kind of. You were talking about just. So. It was mid last year when this happened. Okay, okay. So summer, that's you know. Do you? Uh, do, yeah, I guess it was summer. Do you like s- celebrate summer? <laughs> no, I don't recognize summer. Anymore. <laughs> okay. I can't think of recognize for some. It's like a time I can't think of like do you notify. <laughs> it's a new year, so. Okay, okay. I have to re- re- rehash all so these summer. things. So summer. So. The way, the, way, the way I explained it to you yeah. was, um, I noticed, like, I think everybody notices, we just want to be stimulated by some <sighs> kind of uh, entertainment. Yeah. Just, you know, phones, TV, internet. TV shows, yeah. It could be anything. And the no, reason no. I, I realized it today oh. is because I was l- laughing at myself, remembering yeah. how my wife would watch the news in the mornings before work. Yeah. And by the time I got Make home. Make fun of it. No, no, it's just people dying. Yeah, it's people dying, crying. Dying, crying. Uh, so by the time I got home, it's still on the same channel, yeah. and I turn the TV on. Which is like channel 11, channel 5, 4, the, 2, yeah. news channels, yeah. yeah. So what I, news. what I noticed was every day I'd be turning the TV on, and this show, I don't know if you guys know, is called Wendy. <laughs> She's a big, big... <laughs> BBW. B- right? B- BBW. BBW. <laughs> big black booty, big black boobs, everything. Big back woman. She's like Amazon. Right? She's like ten feet tall. Yeah. And uh, she has a TV se- TV uh, show. Oh, she's not show. like huge, like weight. She's no, just no, tall. She's just tall. Oh, I took it yeah. as BBW. I mean, she's kind of, she's kind of thick, but you kind of have to be to support that height. Oh yeah, you can't be like seven foot and tall. She has and big like... old breastuses. Okay. And she's very loud. Well, what channel is this? Go figure. Yeah. And uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I, you know, I would be on yeah. and i turn it on and you know when you get home from work you just want to like just take like your feet kind of hurt. Digress. Your feet hurt, Depress. you want to relax. A depression. So just, I, yeah. I would do that. Yeah. I would sit down and before I know it, I look down like a half hour has gone by and I haven't good. changed the channel. So are I'm you paying attention or are you just kind of zoning out? So like half and half. Like half and I go half. in and out. Yeah. And that's the, when I go out I notice, oh crap, I've been sitting here for a half hour watching, watching the Wendy, Wendy show. Yeah. Like, what am I doing? And I'm like, it doesn't matter what's on right now. But it was a show of just Wendy's, like different Wendy's restaurants. Or like I've done the same thing. Behind the scenes of Wendy's. I'd probably I'd watch it for an hour instead of a half hour. I'd watch that, yeah, yeah right. And then I'd work up an appetite. I love that bit from The Office where uh, Michael Scott is forcing everyone he, that works for him to like set him up. Give him a number of someone that he'll be set up with. Oh, okay. And then uh, <laughs> Kevin gives the number to the local Wendy's. <laughs> he's like, so I was like, hello. He's like, hello, I am looking for Wendy. And like the other line's like, dude, this is a Wendy's. He's like, oh, he's like, Kevin. He's like, it's like a frost, like a frosty. <laughs> it's, it's just like, can the, you order on the phone? No, because he's like, dude, you got to come and like pay, do okay. pay, do it here. He's like, awesome to pick it up. He hangs up. It's just like the best, anyway, the best bit. Every time I think of Wendy's, I always think of that like, it's fine. dude, that's the Wendy's. It's a funny show. <laughs> I'll take the like, I'll take like, such order. Anyways, all right. Anyways, so, yeah. um, gonna be a lot of that. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that type of show. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like that's how all juice, we want. Oh yeah, just straight. Yeah, just cranberry juice <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> yeah, you ever had it that way? No, it's really good. I, it's really I better than sweet. No, Is it cran apple or just cranberry? Pure cranberry. I like cran apple. It's tart. Yeah, that's, like, right, that's right, right, right. Tart. Yeah, tart yeah. I like the tartness. Uh, this is where you grind your teeth, like it makes your teeth work. Yeah, kind yeah, of I, like I don't like that. I like that. But yeah, so I was, that's pretty much it. It's yeah. like, like how like dependent, well, I don't know dependent, but we're just so used to just being in that zone of like. Yeah, it'd be something. Something, like some rectangle has right. to be turned on and be looking at it. Yeah. Well, know? I mean, uh, I, I wanted to, uh, like when you said VR, I was like, fuck yeah, VR, because 
that's where we're gonna be at. This you know, year, people are this people year, are man. preaching the thing where VR is gonna be the new age of gaming, and that's. Uh, I don't think it's just gonna be new age of gaming. I think it's gonna be everything. It's gonna be oh yeah yeah definitely like I saw that was it the you told me the Samsung Galaxy where they're coming up with just ways of just I think escaping. There's like five or six companies out. They want to come out this year. <sighs> Crazy. The only thing I won't get it. No, no, I'll get it. No, you know why? Why? Because I want to tie this into uh, o o Oculus Rift. Yeah. Their price? Have you heard of that? Six hundred bucks. Mm, no, that's not bad. I'm not gonna spend that much money on that. It's not bad. I mean, no. you gotta you gotta realize they. Need that's Microsoft. So what's play? What's Sony's gonna be then? We don't know. It has to be a minimum of four hundred now. Yeah. No, that's a whole other console. Well, I'm down. No. You got you gotta realize though, this no. is a new and not just a new product. It's a new way of life, like to mm. experience things. Oh, I experienced it at PSX, and I was like, this is cool. Mm. But yeah, yeah, but okay, that's okay. You just said that, right? Yeah. Would they need all this money and support to yeah. show that there's gonna be want that people want this and people that so say you're come back me when when it's perfected. <laughs> yeah. So say you say you work say you're a software designer yeah. or whatever you make games. Yeah. You get hired by a company. Yeah. No one's buying the the, the main machine that you're gonna be programming stuff for. Yeah. So no one's gonna. Why would they pay you anything if no one's giving them? They need they need to show up front yeah. that people want this. I get that. I mean, just like the PS. So you gotta be like, Ooh, look at that. I just can't look. The PS3 me. was like seven hundred dollars when it first came out. <sighs> People bought it. <laughs> I told you, I told you about. It. I, I told the story about the PlayStation Three, right? What? When I bought the PlayStation Three. No. <laughs> it was one of those perfect me where I walked into the store on a PS3, like, dude, you know, PS4 is coming out next week. Don't care. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> do, you, do you do that just because you don't want to look dumb? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. If I had to walk out of there, like, all right, fuck. I just drove out there, you know what I mean? So what? Like, fuck me. So I was like, I don't care. I don't know. I'll come back. I didn't come back for another year. Fucking <laughs> crazy, man. But anyway, so VR is going to be huge this year. Yeah, it's going to be big. What is it? dollars though, man. Like, what the thing? Okay, so. That's almost seven, eight, nine, two, four hundred dollars away from a thousand. <laughs> wow. That's, that's true. But the thing that sucks big time for well for Oculus and like other companies, I don't yeah. know all of them, but some most of them, it's not you're not just having to buy the the, the headset. Yeah. You have to have a powerful PC to power it. Yeah, that's what they were talking about when I was hearing was like so it's like fourteen hundred dollars just to get started with a rip with the PC. Yeah, so but only the, select few are gonna buy. But still, fuck if you have a for the, computer for the um, the PlayStation VR, yeah. you just need a PS4. Oh, yeah, like you're pointing them. Oh, yeah, I'm putting out a poster. You if you guys on it. camera are watching this, we're like, where, where, where are we? We're where in a dungeon we? right now. We're in a dungeon right now. It's a little dark, but we're, I got, in the, we're in the bear cave. I brought one light and it's not working too Because long. I have two lights in this room in the bear cave. Yeah. White, <laughs> White and party. And yellow. Oh, well, yeah, your party light. My yeah. party light. That's what I have. What? Yeah. I guess that's yellow. So I'm sorry for the I'm video quality. It's going to like look 100%. I'm going to try to touch it up a little bit. But... When, this is the party. The party lab. It's fine. You guys are fine. We're not like we're not. You're not paying for this, okay? We're not paying for this. <laughs> no, that's not good way. But uh, no, it's gonna be big. It's just the price. The price is it, too much. Oh, for definitely me. steep. It's not. Yeah. It's not cheap at all. But I nothing like this should be cheap. You buy it, and we'll have parties. I'm down. Of I'll me. charge people five bucks at the door. No, no, no. no. Parties <laughs> being like my type of parties. Just just invite me to come <laughs> over and we'll have a party. You're like, hey, you want to do another podcast? Yeah. <laughs> I'll come over right now. And we'll do it. Uh, because like, I mean, I played it. And it's, it's gonna be really fun, but like, for that much money, I know, I know. Like, I hear what you're saying. Like, people need to be committed. Like, we yeah. we want to force. We, we got. We're gonna support this. But I'm at that point where, like, if I'm throwing down, mm -hmm. it has to be to the. And I know that a lot of games we played were not rendered yet. They weren't even done yet. Yeah. I understand that. Just slices. I like got that. that. Yeah. But it's just like if I'm gonna dish out like, even four hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Like well, that's pure. What they call it? Um recreational yeah fuck it has to be something that's going to be like see this is the thing this is the thing though that i'm thinking about yeah say say the vr playstation just playstation we yeah. have playstations yeah. that's going to be the cheapest one i'm guessing yeah um because you don't need as near a pc to run it yeah so say Can they have link playstations ps4s uh, like chappy i don't know i want to do that i know you could with the xbox back yeah. in the day like two mega ones <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by that. <laughs> I, I get you. Um, yeah, so say they say they have like five games at no. launch, which is not much. No, it's like, it's, it's, <clears> that's, that's too many. There won't be that many. No, there will be. No. They already have like ten announced. No. Yeah, they do. Announced, but that not come out on D Day. No, they will. No. 
How much you want to bet? I'll bet money on right now. You want to bet money or bet something? I'll bet money. I'll bet money? I'll bet money, 10 at least. 10, 10 bucks. 10 on 10. 10, 10 bucks on... Hey, don't shake the table. <laughs> <laughs> this, it ain't that bad. It's, it's January 7th. Yeah. At 3.06 p.m. I, I shook. I'm like, why did it shake? But I go, my thumb. Dude, they're sensitive. Anyways, that there will not be 10 releases of a P, of VR PlayStation games on D-Day. Okay. It won't be that many. That's too many. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, if I don't want up, tweet. But I, I, I know. I know. I'm confident. Anyway. Yeah. Back to the point. What are we talking about? If there aren't, say there's only two or three. Five. Five. Max. Say that's the case. Yeah. They you think about watching a movie. Are you counting those bullshit like I'm 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 making coffee right now? That's a game, bro. No, 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 no that, 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 that's, uh, that's, not that's not a game. That's not a game. That's not a game, dude. That is not a game. Like no. Danny played a game where she was like pu doing a puzzle. How do you draw the line? What's a game? What's not a game? A game. Is an RPG. No. <laughs> it's 120 hours long to finish. It, a game is something, I don't know. It, I, I'm not going to count a you fucking lost. puzzle. You already lost. No, I'm talking about puzzles like, game. I'm talking about like it's actual, a, like. You go to the store, puzzles are in the game section. They are, aren't they? I don't know. Anyways, let me finish, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> You're fucking wasted. Cherry <laughs> juice. And uh, so just imagine, like, uh, say there's no game. You don't, you're not even a gamer. You just want to watch movies. It's just Awesome oh, yeah, immersion. That, that would be cool. Just like you're in your own theater. I just follow Will Smith around. Whatever. Like, you can, you can, say you go to Google Images, you're just looking at fucking Will Smith walking around. That'd be crazy. Just like, but okay, so with the VR cool thing, porn. I can't wait for that. I was listening to podcasts about that. Like, that's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna just be like in a dark room <laughs> with a helmet on. Because all you see is that red light. Yeah, <laughs> you're just a boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, it's gonna be the saddest thing ever. All right, yeah. yeah you're not gonna leave because you don't need the TV with it. Oh yeah, huh? you just need the, the TV was just there for them to like, just, help you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's just you in a dark room and a freaking Five. visor on. That's crazy. You think the Wii U was or the Wii was dumb when you like? Oh, what are you guys doing right now? But like yeah. the VR is gonna be a whole different. You're problem. just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're right there, mate. <laughs> but today, actually, I saw um, they already have it like built uh, in Utah, actually, which I wish I would have known about. Yeah. It's a whole giant freaking warehouse. And instead of like, you know, like paintball inside, indoor paintball, whatever. VR. Instead of that, you have head VR headsets on, and they have like physical like doors and walls up, but they're blank. But what you see is like uh, office building, or uh, you're in the wilderness, like in the oh, jungle, stuff like that. and you're running so, like, around. So you walk around, you're actually walking in a building. The modern laser tag. Yeah, the modern laser tag. You know where they have like laser tag buildings. Yeah, now exactly. this is like VR. That's that's great. That, that I support. That's cool. Now I you don't have to buy it. You just yeah. pay like probably 50 fifteen bucks. bucks to go. Yeah, but I would support I that because I remember like as a kid, laser tag was just like. Yeah. I remember going to the laser tag places where they had walls and fucking little like half walls, <laughs> whatever yeah. you call those little things, and like that whole things and like smoke and shit. But like a VR system, I bet, dude. that'd be bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, well, and then the cool thing, like, say, <laughs> say like, I say from a year from maybe two years from now, after that everything launches, yeah. and like you get a nice a bunch of group of developers on it, yeah. I think we can do like things like podcasts where we have like a camera in the I middle of the room. Like me. No, we have a camera in the middle oh. of the room, and people who want to join us, they put the headset on. What do the back of their heads look like? No, they're in, they're in the room with us. Like, oh, I got you. you know like, I mean? maybe like, they're, like, in the half circle. Yeah, they're, like, in this little little area. I'll right? tell you. Like, oh, okay. They can, look, they can, like, look at our packages while we're talking. They can, oh, like... He's like, doing well for himself. You're wearing that shirt again. Like, things Fuck. like that. Grab my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Like, things like that. The future, I'm excited about. I agree with you. Yeah. The future, I'm excited about. Front, yeah. But right now, the price, I'm just, like... I'm and gonna wait. Steep. Like I know I'm gonna know people who are gonna own yeah. them, but right now, like no. I mean, just... think of. I mean, just think of that. The first iPhone. Yeah. Jesus I Christ. I didn't own an iPhone. <laughs> I did. I had, the, I had the second one. Oh yeah. It was a piece of garbage. Yeah, it was a, it was a brick. It was a brick, and yeah. you didn't even receive pictures. You had to email yourself pictures, just like oh, yeah. the Sidekick. Yeah. And within like a year and a half. Yeah. It was yeah, like you can do it. Amazing, like ten times I, better. I, 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 I'm yeah. But it had a lot of support behind it at first. Yeah, and I, I and I'm sure I'm the minority no. of this group. You know what I mean? For people who are gonna be you're not out gonna there, be the minority who aren't gonna get one because I don't think so. No, I think, the, I think the min I, I'm gonna do a harsh ratio. Yeah. But I think out of the 51 49, that's good math. 
I'm the 49 percent. Is it 51 50? No, it's not 51 50. That's too many. <laughs> the 51 49. I'm the minority of people who aren't gonna. I, th I think the majority are gonna own them. Being of uh, consumers, whatever that you know, whatever Wait, that market do you, is. Do you think it's because of price? Or I think because of what, interest. what you just said, people are gonna buy it to support it because yeah. of the iPhones, because of the the Snicker whatevers, you know, and they come out with new stuff. Snickers? But, yeah, I'm sure they do. Okay. But you know what I mean? The for people who are gonna go out and buy them. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the minority of the of the people who aren't gonna buy them. Well, I know the Oculus Rift already sold out their first batch. Exactly. Because they did pre-orders yesterday. Exactly. And with P with with the PlayStation yeah. VR. All the other VRs that are coming out. I know I'm the minority. So you're good. You're set because you don't have to. Wait. You don't have to be a part of that. Exactly. And it's just like I'm. Like I said, I'm gonna know people like you who are gonna buy it. And I'm like, yeah. let's try it out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna feel like a dummy because I'll buy it and like six months later the second version will come out. I'm like, oh man. Oh, damn, Chase. <laughs> I don't even need a PlayStation. For this. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It's I. I don't think it'll be another year. I think two years. I think like you were right about maybe two years. Yeah, probably two years. That. Yeah, two years. Yeah. This is kind of very juice. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta make sure everyone knows it's kind of really good. Oh yeah, so uh, it's crazy. 2016 is here and stuff is dropping. Yeah, the dick is about to drop on your forehead. I don't know if you saw this. Po you don't. You're not on Facebook anymore. No, I'm on Facebook. But anymore. I posted this link to dick. no to a video of these chicks. Uh, it's not supposed to be funny because I shared it with my wife. She's like, it's not funny. I'm like, it's not supposed to be funny. It's just yeah. weird. Yeah. These you know like runway models do their thing. They yeah. put on an outfit. Yeah. So these models yeah. didn't have outfits on. Well, they did, but. They had they were wearing people. Like say there's a tall white lady here. Yeah. For you listeners to visualize this. Yeah. And there's um a lady <laughs> Video a piece. smaller lady, like co like koala grabbing her torso. A koala was grabbing her? No, a koala bear style grabbing style. Like she you know, of koala, another human? Of another human. She's carrying another person, like me on you? Yeah. So <laughs> say say your penis is right here <laughs> and your head's down there. Like sixty nine, but you're walking. Yeah. You're wearing some fashionable clothes. I'm wearing fashionable clothes. And they're walking down the <laughs> runway. Straight faced. And it wasn't just one person, it was like a whole line of them, like one by one. And like the actual girl, people actual people and was the people, like like fake people. No, they were real people. <laughs> and the and the funny thing is like they weren't like they were switching positions. Like um one would be on the back, one would be like uh. half on the side. <laughs> It was bizarre. I was like, 2016 is here. <laughs> like, the future is now. Uh, how is that not funny? Yeah, that's, that's funny? That's what I said. I chuckled, but she's like, it was so funny. I'm like, it's just funny because it's weird. Like, it's... Yeah, that's fucking weird. I don't know. I want to be the non-model. Like, the, the fucking clothing. Like, oh, the clothes. This was me. Like, I had to hold on for 30 minutes straight. <laughs> And I couldn't speak. Like, because imagine the walking. Like, yeah. I don't because they're strutting. Just, they're strutting pretty good, and you're just like. The head's bobbing back and forth. Yeah, that's fucking funny. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so while you were in Utah. Yeah. I wanted to. Uh, there we go. I wanted to bring this up. Because I've saw i seen some movies. Because we got some gift certificates. It was just. Tis the season to movies, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, the first one was Star Wars. That's the big one. We're not going to talk about it because everyone's done it. People are maybe who funnier. Avatar's we'll, bigger. We'll give our uh, opinions later, maybe after you've seen it. But what I want to talk about was the theater experience of opening day. We've talked about We've touched on this before. Did we? Yeah. When? Like one of the first episodes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I mean, we talked about I just hate theaters and people. But. People. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew what to expect for a, a, a colossal giant as Star Wars. I knew what to expect. I knew it was going to be people. It actually wasn't too bad. It was a pretty full theater, except for the real front front. You know what I mean? Because this was Friday, which they came out, but this was like at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like that. People were getting off work. People yeah. were off. You know, it was kind of like that. In between. In between, where there's going to be some people. So anyways, there is a line, too. By the way, there was a line with the security guard who was packing some fucking heat, dude. I would, too. It was dude, crazy. I told you, that's why I didn't want to go to opening night. I'm I afraid, afraid of freaking dude. some freaking terrorists. Not terrorists, but just like... Do you know what I would do in that movie case? Movie theater shooters. Like, there's like five of them this year. I would come down at him, not at a bullet line, but I'd come down at him through the stairs and just kind of like pushing some random people. Like shields. Kind of. I'm going to call them that because they are sacrificing themselves. And he's being stopped. They don't know they're sacrificing themselves, but they are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be praised. But yeah. anyway, so anyways, P, there was a security guard. And I remember Danny was just like, because we had fucking, we were packing some illegal, con, uh, con, what do they call it? Con, contraband. Uh, contraband. Yeah. Yeah, we had some candy and whatnot. Uh -huh. And uh, he's like, oh my God, oh my God. Because 
an actual employee yeah. was helping to check bags, like just purses. They're you know? checking bags? They're checking purses, yeah. They just asked oh, to So open. you got a warrant, mother? Yeah, yeah, but so Daniel's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, like doing the whole like, yeah. like just fucking chill, slacks, you know, like they don't give a slacks. fuck. But they end up being the cop who end up checking. I was like, let's see, it's all chill. It wasn't even a cop, it was like a security, but even they. Top flight? Yeah, fucking top gun. <laughs> but uh, so we saw that, right? We sit down, we got good seats. We actually got, because people were sitting on the sides for some reason, it was weird. Like the steps? Just near the steps, it was weird. People were sitting near the end, and like I was like, I want a good middle seat. And like we got there an hour early, and we were like third in line, third group in line. Okay. You know what I mean? Being her and just me, but there's right. groups in front of us. But um, so we get there, and then there's some kids, which I don't mind. Like I've been to. What do you mean kids? Fucking like under my age, <laughs> no, and they're under like ten, around ten or younger, around there. You know, like people who need the adult to buy for them, kind of age. I think those are okay. This is the babies. Yeah, because like I've been to like uh, Avenger movies, yeah. and there's kids. Like I've been around there, like oh, fucking Iron Man. I'm like, okay, yeah. fucking calm down. And just... they laugh at like the little jokes. Yeah, so I, I I knew I knew what to expect. You know what I mean? Like I knew there gonna be some cheering the moment like the scroll happened. I knew that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I wasn't prepared for this. This was rough, dude. So right off the bat. Before the actual preview start, sorry, I'm like, phew, very spray. <laughs> Before the actual preview start, when it's just like, oh, this is your first look with our information. Yeah. This woman behind Danielle started playing music off her fucking phone. Music. Loudly. Music. Music. Like she was getting a phone call? No. She went on YouTube or her own music, but iTunes or whatever, you know, and just yeah. started playing her own music. Was it boring? No, it was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Was it good? Because like all you can hear is just like, <laughs> you can't really. If you're unless you're holding your phone, yeah. you don't. The, I the the phone speakers don't spread really well. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was just one of those things. Where it was like, are you who? I've never been in this situation where someone's done this. It sounds like a classy lady. Yeah. So that was just the beginning, and then p even her. Did you turn around and look? No. I yeah. Obviously, like. As a human, you're you you kind of like passive aggressive. Do the whole like, what? are you kidding me? Excuse me. Are you, excuse me. Hello? And you turn, and I would notice that shit. Boom, right? And even her guests or people she was going with, they're like, what are you doing? Like, oh, she's really? like, and they, yeah. So they called her out. They called her out, but very passively. Like, what are you doing? She's like, it's the com it's not even the commercials yet. And she was like this, one of those like. You can say it. She's black. No, no, not at all. She, was, she was like this, like, I'm a nerd, and you, you need to know I'm a nerd, oh. because I am wearing a shirt, I am she wearing pins on. pins on, and it's just like, you're trying too hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Does That's she have, the time. Does she have a foxtail on? She just had, like, one blue strip uh, of black okay. hair, you know? And That's so, a rebel streak. Yeah, right? Like, oh, and she looked like she was fucking... Um, between almost 30, like our age, you know, almost that's 30. High, that's high. Yeah. And so like, that was the first thing, like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So the preview start, and we got a lot of animated movies coming out yeah. for our trailer, yeah. or for our, because I've heard different people got different trailers, mm -hmm. but our first experience was a lot of animated ones, right? Your first experience. Every little joke throughout the trailer, mm -hmm. like every fucking like little joke, she was fucking busting a gut. And it was just like those are the worst ones. Come on, I'd and, and, and she wasn't even busting the gut. Like it was real laughing. Yeah. It was annoying, high shrilling. I'm laughing because I gotta be cute. Uh, it was one of those dude. And it was like right off the bat, Danny and I were like, really? Like we, we you know, when you need silent communication, just like those are the people that cause people to shoot people. <laughs> exactly, dude. At movie so theaters. so you're like, okay, like maybe when the movie starts, it's gonna it's shut the down. fuck up, you yeah. know? Movie starts. Gets loud. I expect that, right? Look, yeah. in the scroll, blah, blah, blah. From there on, mm -hmm. the first, and I actually throughout the whole movie, the first half hour was the roughest. It was constantly kids talking, and then all you heard was parents go, besides the kids talking loudly, all you heard was the parents going, shh, <laughs> shh. Just nonstop. Like, that's not helping. No. That's not yeah, helping. Flick them that's beat, noise with noise. You backhand right? them. The only noise you should hear is smacking. And then silence. Yeah. So you have that constantly throughout the whole movie, but there was the le it was the most uh, clearest during the first half hour hour. That sucks. It's a two hour sub movie. Then, throughout the whole movie, you have this woman commentating loudly about everything. What do you mean commentating? Like, like say someone hit somebody with a laser. She's like, like yeah, dark side! side. Like I'm, I'm kind of going black. That that's who I am. But just stuff just, like that, or like, she, like 
Um, I'm not going to spoil anything because you haven't seen it. That's but there's a part where something happens that's nothing big, but then there's a reveal that's not even a big, but it's just a reveal of like a face. Okay. Mm, maybe. But she went to the bathroom during this time uh -huh. where the reveal happened, and she comes back for the second reveal, and she's like, who's this fucking guy? She says it out loud. Literally says that out loud, and there's kids around us. And it's just like, it was just one of those moments where you want to turn around and be like, lady, everyone can fucking hear you. Fucking being cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that was the thing. It was just like, everyone can hear you right now. And you're paying 14, whatever, 11, 20, 14, whatever bucks. It's just like, mm -hmm. you suck as a person. Yeah. I've never witnessed a movie where it was this bad. I've been to movies where people like, fuck us, dude. That was like one person. One part, maybe behind you, just kind of like, trying, he's not being They're loud. Like tapping the back of your chair a little bit. Something like that, or he's whispering loudly yeah. to his significant other she like glare of an that iPhone. was dumb like stuff like that I don't mind but it's yeah. just when someone's commentating for a two and a half hour long movie that's ridiculous it was just like it I would ask for my money back that I was I was thinking about that because what what that damage was like it brought us out of that world yeah you can immerse yourself you couldn't yeah. just like oh shit because we saw the second time and the second time was the volume was louder everyone was quiet besides the given claps the, yeah, you supposed to laugh here at the end. Yeah. Uh, one person was like, oh, we're, we're past that, right? Because it was like the week after. Second time was just like, that was cool. I, I enjoyed myself. Okay. The first time. Like, I've never witnessed something like that, That dude. sucks, man. That was rough, right? I would have, I would have like had like a piece of popcorn with cheese on it and just thrown it behind me. <laughs> Stick on her forehead. I did my passive aggressive thing where she was on the phone in front of us and outside and I was waiting for Daniel to come out of the bathroom. So I was standing outside. And when she comes back, someone calls me. I was like, dude, there was this person on the phone uh, behind us who was so... She was the worst human being. And at the time, I'm making eye contact as I'm walking. Yeah. And she was just like, I'm like, yeah, that's you. Yeah, you keep walking. Bitch. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, you got to do that, though. You did. I mean, I, I want to know, <laughs> know, like, know how that person's raised. Like, where where do they ever think that that's okay? Because, like... And why? I understand... It's people who want attention first. Yeah, yeah, That's definitely. Obvious. And like, she was one of those people who were like, "I'm, I'm, go I'm wearing a shirt that says, you know, the dark side." And I, I know people were wearing Star Wars stuff, but it was just like she just screamed attention. Yeah. And it was just like I'm part of the club. I understand humans, <laughs> and I understand big functions like opening day, big movies. I was prepared for that, yeah. but it was this was the opposite of that. It was just. What if she was just excited? No, nah, dude, she, she was not autistic. She, Huh? No, she was just a bad person. Cause that's I, I believe that. you ruin. Like yeah. you know what I mean. And I wouldn't ever do that to someone. So especially something like Star Wars. That's like so big. You know, like we're, actually we're not gonna talk about the movie until you've seen it. But uh, I honestly don't care. You don't care. Yeah. It, all I'm gonna say it, it's a fun I've movie. I watched most of them. I did. I did cry at one point. Like not cry, cry, but I teared up at one point. Like the Indian and, tear. Yeah, and you'll know when what part it was. It's pretty obvious. Actually, maybe not obvious. It's it's. The reaction of something obvious, I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay? okay. Without spoiling anything. But uh so we saw that. Okay. Saw we it enjoyed twice. it. We saw it twice. The second time was free. That was cool. That's cool. We, saw, we saw a second movie that was free. a third movie that was free. My ja boy, Concussion. Will you, Smith. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course I'm gonna I saw Will Smith. I wanna see Concussion. Yeah. I already saw the documentary mm -hmm. already on Netflix, yeah. the PBS special. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back to this. Okay. That's the movie that we saw. Okay. Right? What I wanted to talk about was Creed. Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed, but it's just called Creed. Right. I've heard good things about this movie. Me too. I actually have too. And they, I'm actually I heard the it. actor's way better than Will Smith. More okay. talented. No. Better right. looking. You're just, you're just provoking. Better actor. You're just poking the bear. And they, That's fucking true! <laughs> 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 no. So, you saw that, right? Yeah. And the director's only done like three or four directing movies, and they're movies I never heard of. Oh, really? Yeah, like... Small time movies, or whatever. So, anyways, right? So, for you out there, Creed is based off the world of Rocky, but Sylvester Stallone is no way a producer or he's just an actor in this movie. He, this is not his movie. Yeah. So it go like this movie, dude. I'm like, I'm <laughs> literally saying like this movie could be movie of the year. Did it come out this year or last year? This year. Okay. It came out 2015. It came out around Christmas. No, it came out between November, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, kind of that. So that, it can't that. be movie of the year. It's a movie of 2015. It's, mo it's a movie of 2015. So that's past. It's, well, they well, did the movie. Well, you, all the awards are not coming out yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So we haven't got to that. I they did all that already. No, not yet. Not yet. Well, I think they did the uh, the Oscars, but I think that's the Golden Globes. Is that Globes. the only one that matters? 
I guess. Yeah, which we're gonna get to. Okay. But anyways, whatever. Fucking good movie. It, it should have been. Is my point. Okay. Because I hear you. It's fucking good. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spoil alert. Let's unpack it for you. Yeah, I'm gonna I feel like unpack, you need to unpack. Yeah, this. I'm gonna fucking unpack the shit out of this because this movie. I feel like if you don't, it's good. I'm gonna explode. Yeah. Okay, so it opens up with like these two black kids fighting, right? And they're in juvie, right? You're crying right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get there <laughs> because the opening. It, I'm telling you, dude, this fucking hit me hard. Opening scene, right? Two black kids fighting. They're in juvie. Um, a woman, a, a woman comes, everything, and she's talking to the kid who got in the fight, who was like the more the aggressive one, who won, uh, who I guess who won, won the fight, whatever. Spoiler, and, yeah, spoiler, <laughs> right off the bat. So they're talking, and she's like, "Your dad, blah, blah blah," and she's, he's like, "This, he's like twelve years old, thirteen, he's a really young teenager age," mm -hmm. and he's just like, "I don't have a dad." And she's like, "Yeah, you do." And he's, he's like, legend. yeah, well, she doesn't say that. She's like, yeah, you do. Yeah. He's a good man. He's blah, blah, blah. And she's like, what was his name? Like, he's testing her. And, he's, and then. She's saying the black kid didn't know his dad. Yeah, doesn't know who his dad is. Yeah. Oh, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. And so she, he goes, what was his name? Yeah. And it goes to black. And all we see is Creed. And just, I was like, oh, shit. Like, it got me off the back. So, like, it was just like. Why? I don't know. Because, like. I know the movies of of, of Rocky. So a lot of people. And when like when Creed died, it was actually like a good scene because it's like fuck, like you, you know, that supposed to die. It was really touching to me. Sure. And then it's just one of those things where it's like your dad's like, Phew, Creed, like it's just like the legend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something it's, he doesn't know anything doesn't about. Doesn't know. Doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. And so, go in the future and everything. Uh, I'm I'm gonna kind of unpack it's the parts that I liked. Yeah. We're tra time traveling. He's okay. an adult. He's fighting in Mexico, and whatnot, and then it switches over. He's like a suit and tie kind of like receptionist type of bank job, right? Quits that because because he's like, I'm gonna be a fighter. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know his, he knows who his dad is, and he's living with this foster mom who's how he is. Uh, he is the bastard son of Apollo Creed. That's yeah. who he is. So he's living with his uh, Apollo Creed's real wife. Wife. Oh really? Yeah, that's who he's living with, and she took care of him, brought him up, and everything. Like got him the sweet job. He just got a promotion. He quit, kind of thing, okay. to be a fighter. So Rocky comes along. He moves to Philadelphia, and he's, he calls him Unk. That's hip. So he moves to Philadelphia because he's gonna search down Rocky Balboa, right? Calls him Unk, this and that. He calls Rocky Unk. Yeah, because it's like, hey, you knew my dad, kind of yeah. thing. He's never calls him like, there's like. He just calls him Unk, kind of thing, like uncle. Yeah. But th there's a couple, throughout this part, throughout this, where we're at now, there's a couple scenes where I, I started noticing because they kind of made it like blatantly clear, but not like in your face, but it was just kind of one of those moments where like, oh, okay, where like Rocky writes something down, like this is what you need to practice. And what he does is he grabs his phone, take a picture of it, and be like, all right, cool, thank you. Yeah. And like, you know, not thank you, but all right, peace. <laughs> and then like walks away, he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, it's in the cloud. And he's like, what are you, what are you? he's like, he just runs away, you know, like yeah. he jogs off. And I was like, I started, they do a lot of this. I was just like, this relates because Rocky was for our fathers. Our father's generation, that 70s, 90s, you well, know Boxing what I mean? was huge back then. Exactly, because it was, the, you know, not the depression, but, like, people were out of work kind yeah. of thing. It was just, like, the boxing Even story. The military, each military had their own boxing. Exactly. Game. And so this was relatable because I was like, oh, shit, this is, like, our generation. They're not, like, like you lazy, I always yeah. pronounce it wrong, but our generation, you know. It was just, like. Because it was tweeting and stuff? No, like, not really that. It was just like, oh, I'll take a picture of, of a piece of paper. Yeah, I do that phone. all the time. Exactly. No, exactly. Yeah. We all, like, every class I've had, when someone write, when a teacher has a big thing on the board, there's a few good people who are like, I got it. But yeah. it's just, I, I was just noticing that they had a few scenes that it wasn't, like, in your face, but it was just like, oh, shit. Like, right. that's, this is relatable. This it's is, like, like semi-realistic. Exactly, because, like, I don't know, like, it was already like hitting the tone for me, where it was just like, not the lost dad, but it was just like the missing dad, the missing dad, father or figure. the father figure, or just like not even that, just like the down and under kid. You know sure, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Which even though he's shredded and tall, oh yeah, dude's fucking shredded. And like, like and the thing is, just like, fuck, is that supposed to look like? <laughs> fuck, I'm older than this guy too. You know what I mean? So he starts fighting and everything. Or he's about to fight, and he meets this girl. And this is another it's part. Always that, a girl. This is the no, this part hit me. I was like already <laughs> tearing at this Jesus part man. because he meets yeah, this girl good. and everything, and she's a musician, and she was hearing aids because <clears throat> she has basically like tinnitus, like uh, because I relate, I relate. She has the itis. 
She has the itis. And I related to the girl, dude, because like she's gonna do what she loves until she can't hear any longer. And I, when I was a kid, I had plugs in my ears because I had ear issues. So randomly today, like to this day, I'll have random like beep, and then it'll go away. Oh yeah. Not in other words, annoying. It's just, yeah, it feels yeah. like it's distant, but yeah. I have that, and I'm just like, as a sound engineer, I'm like, so you do that till you die. I'm gonna do that till I die, because this is like what I like and what I'm good at. You know what I mean? And so that was her. She's a musician. Yeah. She's a singer. She's gonna do what to she till so she came fucking here. She's gonna do her. And I was like, fuck, dude, like that. I like that. That was fucking good. I'm you already you already had me at the fucking opening creed sequence. You have me. Again. I, had, I had a handy capture. And you're done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, right. So the formula works. Uh, dude, it fucking. I'm. Uh, I, this whole and I was watching it with my lady and besides like hiding my tears, but I would like you know wipe away. There was times where they would do things where I would have to hide. I would. Just me being me, yeah. I cry by myself. You know, like so a man. You to the restroom and cry? No, I would do. I was doing the laughing. We we're like, oh shit, oh. <laughs> During a sad moment. Yeah, and I'm like, but I'm like, <laughs> how cry. could you? How could you pull that off? She's I don't like, know. I'm a, I'm a fucking. I'm a, she's she's like, like, this guy's a psychopath. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. Cause I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm not like cracking up. I'm just like, oh, that was good. Woo, woo. Yeah, I'm doing more of that than like the. The psychotic yeah. laughing, but so we get to the last you got fight. Pointing and everything. Exactly, but cool. This guy. <laughs> Woo! Shit! I love you, daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I miss you. So we get to the end with the fight. You know. Yeah. Throughout this whole time, I noticed because I heard a lot of other people like, "Oh, you don't hear the Rocky theme until the end," and they're like, "Oh, that's so perfect." But what I noticed with the trained ear, I'm gonna say, is you hear it, but it's in different like keys, yeah. and it's in different notations where you Three hear notes. it, kind of. Yeah. You hear it, but it's not like you hear the dun, 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 dun. It's more like dun 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 dun. dun. And it's like stringy. And it's kind of like more wavy. I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing. Tricky so we get to the end, right? He gets fucking knocked out. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 I forget his first name. It's really black, like D'Angelo, Duan D'Angelo, some shit. But DeAndre, something like that. It really is. It's kind of like okay, yeah. yeah. But he he gets knocked out, right? And it's like he's out cold. And the thing that fucking just unleashed, <laughs> I tell you, was the first flash. <laughs> I'm telling you, the first like he's knocked out. What he sees first is I think it's his girl. Right? He and knocks out his girl? No, no, like he gets knocked out and like what he's seeing. Kind of uh, it's kinda yeah, like yeah. Mo a quick montage. Like yeah, he just yeah. sees his girl laughing or time with his girl. Yeah. Then it seems his foster mom. Then it's then it sees Rocky. And it's kinda like each little part is a little bit more longer, like yeah. it could be in like three seconds, four seconds, you know? So and then he sees Rocky, you know, because Rocky's going through cancer, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm, that's a spoiler. But he's going through cancer, and you don't think he's going to make it, but he fights through it, and he's on his corner at the, at the last fight. He sees Rocky, and Rocky's fighting, and then he sees his dad. And then he fucking, he wakes up, and I was like, oh, shit, like. I, mean, what did, I could have told you that without seeing the movie. I think I, I did text you. And I text you what exactly We're gonna get happened. to that. We're gonna get to that. Okay. And so he he, he sees his dad. Yeah. He fucking like Juiced and you, up. you hear the announcer like it's like he just waking up from the dead oh, and God. he starts fucking like pop 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 you know and, like yeah. he ends up winning. I don't know. He ends up it ends up like he wins that last few seconds, but he loses. Of course. He loses, even though it's just like, oh shit, like, he yeah. didn't win. I mean, that's classic Rocky. Like, No, Rocky would win, though. No, he loses, though. The first one, the first movie? I think he lost. The ending of the first movie? No, the ending one. He wins, that's what I'm saying. It, like, because he's lost. Yeah, 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 But, like, you, this is like, because when he wakes up, you hear, dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 He's so like, everyone expects him to win. But he loses. Like, they go, like bye, una unanimous, de unanimous de decision, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And it's just like, what? But yeah. I'm just saying, like, the fact that it took his dad, because the whole time he's just like, I don't want to fight under my dad's name. He wanted to fight under his own name, which is like Williams, which was his mom's name. Okay. He's like, you know, my, my dad wasn't there. Like, not being he was like, he died, he was just like, this is me. Yeah, yeah. This is me. Like, I'm not fight. I'm not going to try to, like, piggyback the Creed name. And the only reason he got to fight this last guy. Because, like, oh, in your contract, we want you to beat under Creed. Because they wanted to beat up Creed. Yeah, it was like, 
we were expected to win. We were going to fight Creed. And so he was like, the whole time he was reluctant. And it was just like, that's fucking cool. Like, yeah. He wants to do his own thing. Yeah. But I'm telling you, dude, you have to be in the moment yeah. where like, it wasn't his girl. It wasn't his mom who, like, you know, his foster mom who helped him. It wasn't even Rocky. It was a person who wasn't there for him. It was just like the <laughs> shot they showed with Apollo Creed in the ring. It was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, it was his dad. Like, it was fucking good, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, it was a good movie. And I, I want to bring up almost the text he texted me. Because texted me, it was fucking funny as shit, dude. I was laughing at that point. Because after a while, I was like, I was laughing at myself. Like, holy shit, that got me. But you texted me. Something like, do you remember? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, well, you were telling me, like, it's such a good movie. Like, I want to talk about it, this and that. I was like, yeah. I was like, let me guess. There's a missing father figure. You know, he's going <laughs> to you open up was like, it's a lead black actor. <laughs> yeah, I told you, I spelled, like, the whole movie, like, frame by frame. Yeah. And, like, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he just like, you don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, they follow formulas, like, legit. Like, they... Uh, I'm telling you, it was one of those things you... St it was good. I'm sure it was a fine movie. It do it works so I'll well. I'll probably watch it and like it, but I'm like, yeah. I already know. I'm like, I already... Yeah. Like, you, was, that's why I'm not saying... If, if, I, if I wanted to see it... Yeah, then, you, I wouldn't talk about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't talk about it, but, but... This is a movie where, like... I know she didn't know anything about Rocky. She knows no. I, I would kind of, like, fill her in. Kind of like, oh, the blah, blah, blah. So you were the person talking in the theater? No, like we're no, we're here. We're here. I, I, uh, I, I got a screener of it. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, the early. Just cut. throughout, I was just like, oh, the blah, blah blah. This is why. Blah, blah. This is what they're talking about, you okay. know. But like, even with that, like she, she enjoyed it fully too. Like, oh, yeah, it's a good movie. Just sure. because, like, you don't need to know anything about Rocky. It was, it was really a good movie, even though the formula is like, ex I mean, all movies are formulas. Yeah. But this is one that, that like, like, it just worked because of like. There's one sequence but they never cut. It's one like camera that. movement for like, I like those. the I like whole those. fight. Like I'm saying like cinematography, yeah. was like the whole thing I as a movie that. was fucking good because like it's one of those big first fights where they just do one camera. That's cool. And they do, and like it's not just like circles, they just, how they kind of do circles. it. circles. It's, they just, it, it works, dude. Because the this. fighters are moving too, you know? So they, they do the 360 because the fighters are moving for them, you know what I mean? Right. It was Let good. Let me ask you this. Yeah. How was the the boxing? Did it look real? Like oh yeah, it looked real. Like yeah. there's a there's a couple times where he goes bam bam, yeah. and like instantly there's marks of like yeah you're getting hit right now. Oh, it was yeah? like daredevil fighting, dude. Okay. Like it was really that's cool. I'm, I'm saying, dude, like I'm not gonna hype it up because like black actors, daddy issues. <laughs> I'm really hyping it because like I even got this movie spoiled for me by Kevin Smith. I knew what to expect, yeah. but. I think everybody does. How they did it, it was just like, oh, they experienced, like, they yeah. fucking did it. They did it. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Another movie I want to bring yeah. up real quick yeah. is a movie that came out last year that you missed. Yeah. But you finally watched was, um, The Warrior. What's it called? The freaking, uh... What? Oh, Winter Warrior? No. Winter the, Soldier? No, no, no. Well, that one, too. Uh -huh. But, the, um, the one with, uh, Ed Hardy. Not Ed Hardy. <laughs> Mad Max? Yeah, Mad Max. I haven't Max. seen that yet. I thought you watched it. No, I saw it. Because you told me, you texted me saying you finally watched it. No, I haven't seen Mad Max yet. Are you sure? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen that movie yet. Who texted me? It wasn't me. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Never mind, guys. I haven't seen that one yet. Right. But, like, right. I'm just saying, it was good. It was good enough. It was good. Good enough dude. to watch anyway. It was. Because I, I wasn't going to see it in a theater. Yeah. But then I would definitely, like, <laughs> because of the fucking moment, I would go see it with my dad. You, Either one. You don't think that'd be weird? No, dude. Cause that's a movie. Cause like how I see it, you're this, like you're like looking back and forth like that. This is the oh, okay. So like okay, oh, I totally. I I'm like the worst person in the world because <laughs> when he like and one of the points where like before he gets knocked out, after he gets knocked out, I think it's right after he gets knocked out. One, uh, there's a point where Rocky's like fuck, like you know not fuck. He's like you don't gotta do this, blah blah. blah. You gotta prove anything. No, and you're fucking, you're good, blah, blah blah. Before like the bell rings to go back, he was just like no. I gotta prove I'm not a mistake. And that's when I was just like, oh fuck! <laughs> a mistake to who? Cause like, he, cause the media for him yeah. and his dad was just like, he's a creed, like he's no creed, you know what I mean? And like, the, the other five- Does he say mistake? He says mistake. That doesn't make sense though. It does. I, like I said, I'm ruining it because I'm not gonna like, I totally, like we're, we're now past me. Yeah. But like, the, the one, the, like he just brings up that moment like, I don't know, as a son, yeah. or like, if you don't have a good relationship with your your father or whatever, or just 
family is just, I don't know, th- th- it hit me, dude. I have a so-so relationship, but that doesn't touch me at all. Watch it, and you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. But, uh, I wouldn't see it in theater, but I would see it with my dad. Yeah. But it's definitely worth the watch, just because it's surprisingly good. Because it's like, Rocky, Creed, but it just, not even for our father, I think it hits better for us. Okay. Like people in their twenties, early thirties, kind of thing. It like, it just screams us. I I really do think that. I do think that. I don't think it's gonna bring back boxing. No, no, it's not. Well, they're st- they're gonna do like two more movies with it. Yeah. I'll see it, but we'll see if I see it in theaters. They're they're they are planning on making a franchise off of this guy, Michael B. Jordan. They ma- that's their plan already. Yeah, and sense. dude, like it literally, like I'm surprised it didn't get nominated because I think it got, I think it got released too late. Yeah. So it's gonna be for 2016, I think. Maybe. I think anything like like Star Wars isn't being nominated for 2015. Right. I think it's well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, don't I, I really don't know how that works. I think those awards are stupid. No. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like we had an episode where we talked yeah. about like the ESPYS. You know what I mean? It's like stupid. You know, but um, because like like real quickly, real quickly, I finally saw Inside Out. I haven't even seen that yet. I heard it's good though. I heard good things. Well, fuck you up I too. Good things. Yeah, yeah. Smoke a little. <laughs> before we watched it, because we rented right. it off off Prime, my girl was like, "Do you want to smoke first before you see it?" I'm like, "Why?" She's like, "Cause it's emotional." I'm like, "No, leave me alone." <laughs> <laughs> I don't go that deep. Yeah, <laughs> like it's not an awful. <laughs> to fuck me up, you know what I mean? But it was a good movie. It was good. Right, it, had some, good. it had some really good moments. Uh, but uh, second thing I want to talk about was I saw a concussion. The Will Smith movie. The Will Smith movie. And it got me thinking. Another black actor. The it's the... It's not, even, it's not even black. It's the actor. He's black. In he my opinion, kids. he's the actor. He's a bad father. He raised bad kids. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. You no, see his not. kids? They're free-spirited. They're not... They're f- they're, I don't think they have a mind to have it to be... Yeah, they not. have more money than me. Because of him. They haven't made anything of substance by themselves. Whatever. I don't care about their kids. I don't care about the man himself. Yeah, but that's their kids are. Hey, adopt me as a son. I'll prove you. I'll, I'll make you proud. Okay? Yeah, but he's not raising you. He, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, right? Okay. okay. He's a piece of shit. It got me. He's not a piece of shit. He's the greatest. <laughs> it got me thinking here, right? I gotta go back. Because he's nominated for a Golden Globe for his performance and concussion. That's the and reason he took the role. Let me lay it down for you. Concussion. Am I gonna do? It's it's one of those blatantly documentary movies. The NFL is evil. Yeah. But this movie is more of a character piece. Kind of like that movie I talked about. Um, That's why he took it. What? I, what's why any actor really takes some roles to be a character piece of when That's majority. I was looking at majority awards are character pieces. Oh yeah, because they're focused on that person. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, fuck. There was a movie with uh, I talked about a uh, fo- uh, fox catcher. That wrestling right. movie, the guy like it wasn't, it wasn't like a drama based heavy. It was a character piece yeah. on um, Steve Carell, who was like a phenomenal movie. But anyways, it got me thinking because Will uh, Will Smith is nominated for a Golden Globe, and so is your your boy Leonardo Cappuccino Cap- Cap- for the Revenant. The Revenant, which is like some weird beer bear movie. It's not a bear movie. It's weird. But anyways, so it got me thinking, right? How many nominations mm-hmm. have each party's had, and how many have they won? Because it's a fact they have neither neither one of them have won an an uh, Academy Award, which right. is the Oscars. Yeah. Those are the big bucks. Those are the ones that matter, right? I guess to you. Well, like in the world, no, not to me. Like, I'm saying like to the world. Cause, like sure. I'm, I'm I'm just interested in that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like I I don't give two shits. Like I'm like in our eyes, our respected <laughs> actors like are the a, best. It's like a, like when somebody wins a Super Bowl. Like oh yeah, I love that team now because he yeah. has that. Yeah, yeah. I get two shits about you know that. I just like I'm more interested in it because. Yeah. In, I guess to them it is a big deal. Is it for them? It is a big deal. I mean, deal. It, it might not be for Leonardo because he's like such, he's like a humanitarian. Like his whole <sighs> such a douchebag. That's all he Such does. It's not like it's part time. Like oh, a douchebag. He barely posts, but when he does, it's like humanitarian. Stop trying, dude. Trying. He's Stop done it trying. all his life. So. He's hating. Check this out, right? Hater. For Academy Awards. Academy Awards. Leonardo has the most. Not surprised. Will Smith has two. Okay. Nomination. The nomination. This, these are nominations because right, yeah, yeah. they've neither won. Will Smith, 2001, Ali, Best Actor. He was beaten by Leonardo didn't have this part on his Wikipedia, which I was hoping, but he was beaten by Denzel Washington for Training Day for 2001. 
That's a good movie. Good movie. Good movie. And Ollie's pretty good too. What was the movie for Leo that day, that year? Uh, I'll, let me open that. I'll open that right now. Right now. Okay. It's open right now. It's open right now. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking prepared. Super fast I'm prepared, phone dude. I'm prepared. He's got, a, he's got a super smartphone now. So yeah, dude. It's not um, even a big deal. He had another dozen one, so he sucked. Okay. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> 2006, which is like, I've never seen the movie he lost to. And I'm like, it better be a fucking good one. Which one? I'm going to tell you. 2006, Will Smith, uh-huh. Pursuit of Happiness. Sucked. No, dude, that movie. If you, you must be, you're a robot. The script among, like, among, like. You're a for, robot. Formulas, That's a true story. Formulas. Like, who says who? It, it's a, it's a true story. It's a random guy. Yeah, you can. That dude is a real person. They can make it up about anybody. No, There's dude, no this is the time of like where the shit was like you're either poor or rich in San Francisco. This is where San Francisco was like L.A. This is the time of era where it's like, the same way now. No, dude, it's way. You're either poor or you're rich in San Francisco. No, no, yeah, no, no, it is. No. Are you kidding me right yeah, now? Yeah. You're the poor or you're rich in San Francisco. No, no, no. There yeah, you are. You're either a bum, or you live in San Francisco, or you're really wealthy. That's how it is. But anyways, can I continue? Go ahead. 2006, Pursuit of Happiness, Best Actor, sure. nominated. It's a fucking good movie. Shit. And like this, uh, his son should stay this age forever because he's not a good actor, right. but it's like Will Smith. You don't have to be. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be because you're a cute kid. Yeah. He lost to Forrest Whitaker for The Last of King of Scotland. I've never seen that movie. I, I can't stand that. Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> I can't. No, get the fuck out of my face. You're not a good actor. Uh, so that's 2006. Once again, that. Leonardo failed. He was not nominated for anything for 2006. But he has something for 2005 and 2007. So he's making something. So it's like every other year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So That's usually how movies work. That was that. So every Golden, year. Golden. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So Leonardo was for 2005 and 2007. It usually takes two years to make a movie. So they're, they're kind of like we're off shooting each other. Yeah. So they never they never had a. Ch- we're never <laughs> against it. Yeah, had the head. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? 94. Yeah. So that, those are only two times Will and Leo were near each other because before that, Will has never been nominated. Like the 2000. 1995 was What's Eating Gilded Green. He didn't get one for uh, Wild Wild West? He should have. Ah, that's crazy. He should have. <laughs> 94 was what's eating Gilbert Grape, which is like, all right, dude, you're just being a dick. You know? Being a dick? You're just being a like, Acting the, his ass off. He's being a full, I can be a full on retard. No, you can't. I not could. for that, not for that kind of Best supporting actor was for that one, by the way. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, because, um, what's his name was the lead actor? Uh, Fucking pirate guy. Pirate, uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> so, now we're going to Golden Globes, okay. which now they're head to head with this year with, the bear movie where he gets raped. <laughs> Doesn't get raped. <laughs> and Will Smith being concussion. Yeah. And it's like, they're both, oh, I, I haven't seen Revenant. I won't see until I download it legally. But one's a character piece. I don't, well, actually, aren't they both true? I thought Revenant was like based on true sure. stories. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's it, it's folklore, yeah. I'm going to call it. There's like two character pieces. On folklore? That. No. So kind of character pieces? Yeah, sort of. Okay. So I now know. we're going to Gold Globes, I right? Let me, I gotta scroll down because... For some reason, Leonardo, uh, Leon, since he's an activist, he's won a bunch of, like, other dumb stuff. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, a dude, like, literally, his Wikipedia page is Alliance of Women Film Journalists. Like, you're a dick. Exactly. Austin Film Critics Association, Australian Film Critics Association, Berlin International Firm, Film Festival, Blockbuster Entertainment Awards. I don't know what these are. I'm just like, I'll, I'll do Boston Society of Film. He's he was runner-up for Departed. Like these are just like indie ones, like indie awards that don't matter. Oh, really? They don't matter. No, they don't matter. Cause like there's like Empire Awards. What are those? That's the Empire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're Golden Globes. The second thing that matters, right? Sure. He has a lot. For, I'm saying that matter for. Yeah. You know, no, I, know, I get you. I yeah. get you. He has a lot compared to Will. Of course. He's actually won two. I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you know that? Well, yeah, I just knew okay. he hasn't won the big one. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> was he in Gilded Great, nominated, he lost. It doesn't say who he lost it to, though. I was hoping they would do that. So, uh-huh. I'm, I would like to know. Like, oh, interesting. Sure. Titanic, he was nominated. Catch Me If You Can, nominated. Mule Will Smith. Okay. What about, um, fuck, what's it called? The Aviator. For Golden Globe? Yeah. Because mm, that was. That's that was, the one he won. That's that the one he won. Characters. That's the one he won. Yeah, he won that in 2005. So, Will Smith was only nominated twice for Golden Globe. Yeah. Best actor for musicals or comedy series, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. 
So that was when two, he was in his prime. Oh, forget that. When that's when he was like not even peaking yet. No, that was his prime. He lost to. This is funny. Who did he lose to? The, for 1993, it was just in so living funny. color. In living color. And uh, no, no. He lose to that. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, 1993. He lost to John Goodman for Roseanne. Fuck, that sucks. I want to go back to 1993 and watch Roseanne because I think it wasn't I, that good. 1993 was good. Like, yeah. But not that good. 1993 and 94 is like when that one episode you always see online, like, what do you ever care about me? Yeah. Well, and just like that, like, and like you see yeah. Phil, Uncle Phil, like, whoa, God, son. Like, <laughs> so like, I want to go back and see what John, God, John Goodman is doing. Right. 94 is nominated again. He loses to Jerry Seinfeld for Seinfeld. That makes sense. I want to go back to 94 and see what season that is. 94 is, that's when Will Smith tapped into the Golden Globes. What's Ian Gold great? By the way, Will Smith has four, like, Grammys. Just saying. Grammys don't matter at all. Uh, just saying. That's anyway. like the bottom of the Just bottom. saying. 2002 for Will Smith is Ali, Best Performance by an Actor. 2007, Happy Pursuit of Happiness, nominated. 2005 was Aviator, which he won for Leonardo. 2007, 9, and 12 for Leo is The Departed, Blood Diamond, Revolutionary Road, and J. Edgar, which J. Edgar was actually a pretty good movie. That was a character piece. I, I That is actually a good movie by Leo. Like, have you seen that one? Every movie he does. Have you seen that one, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's two hours of, like, it's kind of just talking. Yeah, just talking. So it, it's a character piece. It's rough. Nominated. That's Will good. Smith, 2002, so, 2007. So he hasn't been nominated again since 2016. And Leo, since 2012, has been nominated for Django Unchained, which is like, are you kidding me? Dude, he tore it up. In that he movie. tore it up, but it's just, it was just crazy because it was like, like a real part. Right? Yeah, it was yeah. just like, okay, he's a comedy actor, just say nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so since Django, or actually he won for Wall Street for uh, Wolf, Wolf of Wall, Wall Street, Street yeah. Best Actor, which is like, that was a good part. So tore Another it character up. piece. Yeah. So right now I'm excited for okay. The Revenant and Concussion. It's gonna go to the concussion. Do you really think that? Yeah. Like, because you know I'm why? being unbiased. Because I'll give you, I'll tell you well, yeah. a reason I think anyway. I don't know if how. I might agree. Why. I might agree with you. I don't know how it plays into it, but in the Revenant, there's Tom Hardy, and <sighs> I'm Leo. all about Tom Hardy. So it's it's not just one person. Did he like, on the movie yet? Yeah. Is it good quality? No. No, not yet. Well, right. that I've seen. Okay. Uh, allegedly, but um. The screener. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, in in the concussion, it's all about him and his experience. It's, a, yeah. And it's about a, a really emotional topic. A sensitive it is, topic. It is. Which is, if you don't know, it's literally about the uh, awareness and uh, when they find out that, like, literally, Bang football your head. kills you. Yeah. But, and that's what they're, that's what the, the like, <gasps> is football kills you. Right. Big surprise. Big surprise, which is like, yeah, like. Bang your head we against do, the wall. We do get that, yeah. Which is one of those things where it's like, when I saw the documentary, it's just like, yeah, like, we can see that, but the... Without going too deep, which it which is more the astonishment is just like the NFL is just like no it doesn't right well no, because it doesn't. it's bad for their it's bad for business oh totally because so. there's one powerful line which is if you watch it I really recommend watching the documentary yeah. on Netflix and then watching the movie I watched it on ESPN not the not the documentary but I first heard about this a long time ago yeah and he did I watched the documentary a long time ago he did yeah. a small little thing on on ESPN well, for, for thirty for thirty no no, no the guy the uh, actual guy uh, Doctor Amalu yeah whatever, and then they yeah. did the documentary yeah, and PBS. I didn't watch the documentary yet but the documentary I recommend watching that because. The quotes they get yeah, yeah. from the like situations are like they line for line in the movie. And there's this one powerful line where in the movie and the documentary and what's actually was spoken was like the NFL owns two the NFL the NFL shells a day with God, which is oh no, the, the the church owns a day with the NFL or some shit and it's just like now the NFL owns that day. Or it's, it's one of those lines where like NFL's bigger than God almost. Right. Which Wait, is like yeah. which is true, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's actually improving where NFL gets more viewers than fucking churches. So it's just that sense. whole thing where it's like, yeah, we know people banging their heads are gonna kill it. So that was my point. Like it's yeah. more of like a controversial yeah. air quotes topic and like sensitive and yeah. like um, overcoming a uh, social a social conundrum yeah well we you know you got one guy you want to get to the entire NFL yeah so it's a Who's bigger name he's an African yeah he's from Africa yeah and and then you get the other movie where it's sort of mostly so action right <laughs> and it's not just one lead actor it's like two Tom Hardy two big actors yeah. right now well I mean Tom brothers I don't actually I don't know I don't want to uh, know until yeah, I watch are it are you going to see it in theaters or yeah I'm going to go watch it on Saturday actually yeah, I'll yeah. Go. you gonna go? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm off on Saturday. Wanna go? Let's go. Let's go. 
Yeah. Men date. Fuck the girls. No, no, the girls are going. <laughs> Actually, another friend of mine is going too. Who's that? This is some chick. Anyway. Look at you. And I'm a pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. So, it's... it's Utah. <laughs> I was rubbed off on you. <laughs> is that this? Is that a Utah, right? <laughs> Big love. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Anyways. Kick it out of my mic. <laughs> So, oh shit! Believe like me. I, like I was saying, <laughs> it's the the focus is really on separate people, not just yeah. one person. So I think the I, I think, think the brothers, some shit like that. I, I think know. there's something where like their brothers are friends, because what I I I've only really seen a few commercials all the way through. Yeah. It looks like it's old timey. I like the way it looks. I don't care what the no, movie's it looks about. Good. It looks, looks good. freaking awesome. It looks cool, and uh, there's a bear involved. Yeah, that's all I know. I know. He gets I, I just I just love the fact that like. It wasn't like a real right right wing Reviewer. who came out. Like, it was just like by he was raped by bears, and like they actually had to come out like Fox or Sony, like he, he doesn't get raped right by a bear. It was just like you guys had to come out and say that because I mean people. I know people are crazy, but anyway, anyway, anyways. Well, continue. that's pretty much it. I mean, it looks like a disaster this, movie. Is what it looks like to me. No, a disaster. There's a part where he looks super sweaty. And he's just like, <gasps> oh, I get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I thought you meant like there's like a disaster. Like there's there's some sort of disaster in that. But um, no, so I think like, award shows and people like and people in that industry, that's what they look for. Yeah. They look for what people, what they think people oh, yeah, yeah, are totally. going like, on to. That's what, like, because it's, the acting. yeah, cause that, that's my whole, my shtick with Will Smith is just like, I'm a fan of, for the longest time, he was doing movies that were just bad, goofy, like Men in Black, uh, yeah. Wild Wild West. You know, like this, like the movies, and then like you see him grow, and because you, I, my opinion, you always saw the potential with the Fresh Prince movies, shows. Yeah. So like Leo, who's always been like, I'm doing well, but like he, he's never been as good as Will Smith when he's just been like now peaking. Mm. But <laughs> <laughs> I was excited that it's like these are two movies that are getting. Who's older? Let me look that real quick. I have no idea. Look that you know what you know, I was thinking about when we, when we talk about Gilbert Grape? Yeah. That Johnny Depp, I didn't realize that Johnny Depp is older than him. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but in real life, Johnny Depp looks younger than him. Yeah, and Johnny, maybe Johnny Depp is one of them, but it's the whole thing is Tom Cruise, I think, oh, it's Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Leo, and Will Smith have never won an Academy Award. It's crazy. Man. And that's just crazy because it's like you see their their IMDb, IMDb page. ICPs. IC, ICP page. And it's like, you guys have done work. Yeah. All of you guys have done work. You know um, who's a better actor than Will Smith? Jamie, so we remember, Jamie Foxx. So 47. No, no, get out of my face. Jamie Foxx has more talent. Leo. So remember 47. Who has a better rap career? Jamie Foxx. Who has a better movie career? Jamie Foxx. Who's Will Smith's uh, older. 47, 41. Old and busted. Well, you yeah, gotta think like, I have one of Leo's first movies, Basketball Diaries, which yeah. is a great. I like yeah. that's because I know, like I used to listen to that singer. Right. And during that time, Will Smith is like. In his last season of Freshman. No, he, he's probably not even rapping yet. No. Well, rapping, quote unquote. Hey, he's my favorite dude. Like I'm so excited for the next game, because we for work we do dance cams and everything oh, for right, the arena. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey Joe. Okay. <laughs> I have one request for this season. He's like, yeah, what's up? I was like, for one dance cam. Can we use, uh, get jiggy with it, Will Smith? He's like, yeah, man, send it to me. I'm like... That seems like a stock song they would use anyway. No. No? No. We, we, we usually use, like, like sometimes, like, as a joke to, uh -huh. like, pump them up. Like, we'll use uh, Watch Me Whip. Uh, okay. Or, like, or, or, or like, that to, like, try to, like, be humorous, right. you know? Or we do mostly, like, funny dance songs. But I was like, let's do that. He's like, yeah, send it to me. I'm like... That's this bad. is it. I was like, this is going to blow the roof. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I want to see Robert. So we'll see it this Saturday? Yeah. Look at this. I don't work this Saturday. So we'll go see it. Well, do you guys it'll have, have time? Be, yeah, it'll, be, it'll have to be after after 3 p.m. That's fine. We want a rugby a rugby game. Oh, uh, your, your boy? Yeah. Jose? Jose. Jose? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I'm going to watch him ball up That's for a while. What, I, remember, I remember I invited him to play basketball. He's like, yeah, okay, okay. And then you're like, yeah, he doesn't play. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, he doesn't. He's super athletic, but he doesn't play basketball. He just wanted to be played. I appreciate that. Because mm -hmm. I'm the kind of guy, I'm like, no, we won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, we won't. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't give me hope, because yeah. I don't give hope. I mean, yeah, he'd, he'd be willing to come out, but he's not going to. Yeah. 
Made it's been nice. Up. Made them all up. Uh, yeah, so 2016, this is when we find out who. I This, this will determine who's the better. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Someone who's already won two and someone who hasn't won one yet. Jesus. But I'm excited because it's like if he does win, character pieces are character pieces. And this is why some actors choose his roles. Yeah. Right? And it's going to be good. But not even that, dude, like, come in fucking March. So many freaking movies. I am oh coming God. in March. Yeah, all over the place. Why? Why am I coming in March, Andrew? There's like a thousand movies coming in March. March. I don't know. Batman versus Superman. Some little come, some, some indie movie. I'm gonna <laughs> come so hard for that movie. Like when pre, I want to pre-order tickets to that movie. You gonna pre max. and come? Yeah, I want to pre and come in that movie because gotcha. I'm excited. I don't think the trailers spoil too much. Sure. Says you only you. Yeah. <laughs> only you. I think it's gonna be a great movie. And so, what twist do you think they can add in that movie that you won't know is gonna happen? I don't know. And they're gonna do it. No, they're not. Because they did the same thing with Man of Steel. The only thing they can not sh- or they haven't showed you is Aquaman. That's it. And they're gonna show. That's it. Like, oh, I'm gonna, oh Aquaman, there he is. I'm like, fuck her. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Everyone's I'm excited favorite. because like even that first preview with like I'm so I really do think Ben Affleck. It's gonna be an awesome. I do Batman. too. I don't like Ben Affleck. Like I his like very, him, like his very first that one doc that first um, commercial, commercial uh, whatever you call it uh, That's preview what you, what you see. I want to say preview. Okay. I don't, I don't really say what you say. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that you see when he's just like Lex, and it's just like he cool. seems like a Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And he's like super calm, just like because like well, an older Bruce Wayne. An older Bruce Wayne, of course. Like he's just like I don't like the only thing is Jesse Eisenberg. I'm not sold on that. I don't I'm like. Okay with it. I don't. I'm not. But it's just like Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne. He's like being a Joker character. Well, he's. I mean, he's almost like a Joker. The Facebook guy, which is awkward and weird. But I always and rich. from the comics I've read with Lex. Lex is just like a scientist. Yeah, he's older. Or yeah, that's the thing. It's just like cause these are older Batman and Superman. It's a new, it's a new take on it. It's I, know, like, I, know, oh, a, I understand that, but I'm just that's the only thing. But and Black Will Smith is not the he's not. That's, I don't see color. I don't see color. Well, I'm just saying that's not his real. I don't race see color, color with, and, with Deadshot. And Deadshot. I don't see color. So. But you told me Deadshot is going to be the villain in the standalone Ben Affleck movie. I told you <laughs> that's no. I told you that because I was like, that's why he took the the back seat. Good, good. Like, oh, he's he's being he's being a team player. He's taking the back seat. He's like, no, he's doing it because he's getting his own part. That's him. awesome, dude. I'm telling you right now, Ben Affleck as Batman and Deadshot as the villain for two hours. It's, boring. it's, it's like it's like the third time you've came as a guy. Like, don't touch it, don't touch it, no. don't touch me. No. No. <laughs> It's I, gonna think, be I think they'll be fine. Great. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be great. Justice League is the only one I'm concerned about because it, it could be a little, I don't know, but I'm going to see it definitely. Maybe not opening night, maybe opening weekend I'm going to see. Yeah. Uh, and then you have fucking, I'm not really excited about Civil War because that's not my cup of tea. It's a little bit too like, you're got, all right, a whole island saving people. But Black Panther, I, I'm, I'm a fan of. But why? Just his background. Like, it's not what you told me. What? Yeah, like, he's black. Oh, yeah, besides, he's black. <laughs> That's what I just like. You text no, oh, I thought I, I, I texted you more. No. It's just that, like, he's the king. He's like a king of a country. He's yeah. black. He's stronger than Captain America and richer than Iron Man. And his whole thing is just like neutral. Yeah, yeah. Neutral. And he's it's just like, I like that type of character. He's a badass. Because of RPGs, I like the middle ground sometimes when oh, I'm choosing. Because yeah. it's just like, I choose no side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, he's never been bad. No, he's not, he's not a bad but guy. But he's not like choosing teams on like uh, the Civil War crap. It's because Civil War is just like you either, it's it's really Nazism and Jew, you know, it's just like you're either tagged yeah. or we're going to force you. You know what I mean? It's yeah. So I, I, I'm, but that's the end of that, that uh, preview is awesome where it's Winter Soldier and uh, uh, Captain America just beating the shit out of Iron Man. It's just like, they're going to kill Iron Man. I'm 100%, I thought, because the comic books, they kill Captain America, right? Yeah. But I we all. Know. I think Captain America's gonna die. No, I think it's gonna be Iron Man because he's at the end of his contract. Captain America is too. I think they're gonna do. Uh, I think. You think Downey Jr. the richest be, freaking care, being paid actor right now? Because he's too rich. Because have you noticed that all the new Avengers are like people you don't really know? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think they they could kill off more than one person. At one point, they've even De- uh, Marvel has even said like. It's going to be different people. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Eventually. I think Downey Jr. is the first to go, is my opinion. I think him and 
uh, what's it called? Captain America. Yeah. Or oh, get rid of Chris Evans, because <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think they're both gonna die. In that movie? Uh, at least Chris Evans. At least Captain America. Uh, so I, I'm gonna say Iron Man. Iron Man first, okay. and then you have De uh, Deadpool, which is my my lady's very excited about. Yeah, she's smart. I'll see it because it's rated R. And I like, well, because I like what the Daredevils and Jessica Jones did. They're mm -hmm. almost rated R. Right. I like that darker side, yeah. but this more seems like a funny rated R. Yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? It, it, I mean, Ant-Man mm. rated R. Sure. In the sense of where it's gonna, he's going to be killing people well, and saying fuck. Well, this, well, you know, Deadpool, he breaks the fourth wall a lot, even in the comics. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, he'll yeah. like, like, oh, you're reading me? Well, stupid yeah, stuff like that. Like, yeah. he's getting, he does that, and you've seen the commercials. Oh, they don't do that, because that's kind of Oh, they, like, will. they already did in the commercials. Like, he's talking to you. In like, the commercials, though. Like, that could be, like, good thing. Trailers, that's what we haven't said. Trailers and, like, the scenes are usually sometimes different. Sometimes. Most of the time, they show the whole thing. Just yeah. like your freaking Batman no. movie. No, no, no. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you excited for that one, Deadpool? I'll see that I'm one. I'm excited for all of them. I'm excited for all of them. I don't and care. And then, um, then, then you have Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'm excited. And for then, what's it? What's there's more coming out too, right? Aquaman's not this year. Is uh, Wonder Woman this year? Or they just started shooting. I think that. Gambit's supposed to be this year. I haven't heard anything. I don't think this year. I think it is. They've been hush hush. I know. One of my southern. Oh, uh, that's southern, the southern flowers yeah. of Welton. That's an interesting character. Oh yeah, he's bad. He's one of my favorites. Mm, Marvel. Those cards. <laughs> They're exploding cards. Uh, Superman, a, Superman wouldn't hurt Superman. It wouldn't hurt Superman. No. You don't think so? Uh, he could th he could pick Superman up, make him explode. Well, he couldn't yeah, do he that. Could. Gambit is one of the most powerful Marvel characters ever in the universe. And he chooses to throw cards. He's a fucking card player. He's a hustler. Superman would hustle his bustle. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It, it, it is a good. It's Superman, gonna be awesome. Superman's it's overpowered be awesome. and piece of shit. He's not awesome. He's the good of human humanity. It's good. Don't you know what I read just recently? You don't. You stop the bad guy. You're doing your job. That's all you gotta do. Represent humanity, old crap. But it's the stuff where he has to stop. What? He like, stops the bad guy. Let me tell you. I just read Earth One Superman. I'm, I'm spitting. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're I, I read. I read Earth One Superman. Congratulations. Fucking good. I made me go. What was that? Is that your? It's my my GoPro. Is dying? Yeah, it's dying. I read Earth One. That was a good story because in three different it's three books. Three times you have someone coming in and just fucking up Earth. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like, I'm not strong enough kind of thing. And, like, I'm going to just go vague because we're running long here. But it's just, like, it's the good of humanity that, like, is the he takes off of that, like, he needs to save lives. But what I liked about these was, like, people did die. And he's trying his damn, I don't know, it's just, he has a, he, his consequences heart. are usually almost like, balancing of like yeah. I did good over like th what I had to do being like kill yeah. which is Batman never kills you know what I mean but it's just like with Superman there's also a difference of villains but uh so you I, think a guy that never kills rep doesn't represent humanity because like I don't know it's it's uh, Batman and Superman is just they're so unique characters because yeah. with Joker he kills yeah. and that's what bugs Batman you know what I mean yeah. but Batman's like I, I could kill you he's like no you're not you know but, like, Superman, it's just, like, it's guys that, like, if you don't stop him forever, they're never going to stop. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. Joker's a human. You can lock him up until he escapes. But, like, these guys that Superman fights are guys that you can't just lock up in a cell. And they're going to, like, I'm never going to stop. That's why I like a Man of Steel so much. Because after we watched Creed, she was like, oh, let's watch Man of Steel. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, prepare for that. <laughs> Because wow. <laughs> it's that part where he's like, you don't stop me, yeah. choose them, choose me. I'm like, oh, fuck. So you're, you, you're unique, I think, because you can rewatch it and still feel the same thing, oh, yeah, even dude. though you know it's coming. To this day. Uh, I <laughs> guess <laughs> I'm a robot. <laughs> to this day. I, um, I think I only cry now in, like, cartoon movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, those hit strings that are, like... Because they have the big old eyes. And they're like, just... Yeah. In you, those are the deep I got the cuts. sweet voices. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah dude. Especially yeah. like up, oh, those those cut into yeah. like, oh yeah, that's that's, that's, that's a possibility. Deep. That's, deep, yeah. <laughs> that's a possibility. Yeah. What's gonna happen? But uh, Anyways. I'm excited for 2016. We're gonna have some cool new guests. Yeah, we're gonna a lot have of some, old ones. I like repeat. I like guests. the old ones. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna bang you.
and the eardrums. Ear bangings. Eardrum banging. Maybe semi announcement. Mike Gable might do his own little thing. Oh God, I hope so. Maybe. Maybe. So we'll, we're gonna fully support we that. We might just put them on our on our website as like a one off and like our, our YouTube page. Which please. Check it out. Check it out. If not, whatever. It's yeah. good for a good laugh. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's great. Uh, thank you throughout 2015 yeah, thank you. of supporting us, liking us. Yeah. Uh, I knew switching over was the hardest part of yeah, our that kind thing. of screwed us over. That did screw us over. But, had, to uh, done, had to be done, Had to be done. Because yeah. we're in more power, more yeah. control. And uh, look forward to 2016 with you guys, all you BFers. Don't forget about the YouTube page. Which we'll be pushing a lot more yeah, this year. We push yeah. in, and uh, even if you're on the toilet, yeah, you can watch at it. home just watch it. Instead of listening, if you're in the shower, you can put it up on the top part where the window is and just have it playing in the you background. Know what I do when I listen, when I watch some videos, I watch it and I'm like, I was right here, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I go to my podcast and start at 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you, you know know what I mean? It's a whole put, different word. You can put your phone in a plastic bag, like a Ziploc, and That's it's true. waterproof. Well, when the zippers. Yeah, when the zip went, zipped out. Yeah, That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> and uh, so once again, you can check us out at bigfanpod.com on YouTube. Uh, yeah, YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Big Fan Pod. If you find on Stitcher, there's another podcast called the Big Fan Pod. It just takes you to our podcast. Yeah. It just helps you out. Yeah. Send the, yeah so Please like, share, comment, do everything. Help out the indie podcasters. Hopefully your New Year's and holidays, if you're a celebratory, er, was good. I just want your dreams to come true. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good week. Thank you for listening.